What's up everybody? Welcome to Brew Geeks, our second show, and uh, today we've got uh, Dr. Pete, and I'm Mix, and I am Mike, the bastard child of Andre 3000. <laughs> uh, guys, glad to have you back with us, and uh, today we're going to go over some uh, things I know you guys are really excited about 2020 and some of the movies coming up. So we're going to at least give you uh, some ideas of what we like and what, uh, what we're kind of looking forward to. Um, so, guys, who wants to start out? We're going to go with two each, by the way. So, okay. I'll start out. Um, if I don't mind. Oh, sure. Let it okay. go. Let it go. Uh, my number one, I think, is King Kong vs. Godzilla. Uh, Great. Nice. After, nice. Yeah. after uh, the last Godzilla movie, Ooh, I just want to see where it goes. And we know from King Ghidorah's power that Kong was able to resist. He didn't come calling to King Ghidorah. So he's strong enough to resist like Godzilla was. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to get? I mean, we're going to get a throwdown between Kong and Godzilla who are both amped up to 10. They're mm -hmm. both ridiculously powerful. Um, I'm hoping that we don't get so much of the Kong side of stuff where we get the human element more like they did in uh, Godzilla, King of Monsters, where they give us more of the throwdown of the giant monsters, the kaiju. Um, I hope we get more than that than the human side of it like we did in the second Kong movie where we kind of got the you know human side of it and everything and it kind of led up to you know Kong and everything. But I mean, you got to have a little bit of human element if not uh, I mean, I would personally watch two monsters fighting for, you know, three, six hours, however long they wanted to put it on. Uh, as a Godzilla fan, I'm hoping he comes out on top. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I think, I think it's going to be hot. Cause, <laughs> dude, you guys have that, ele that human element, like you said. Man, uh, gosh, that, that last one, King of the Monsters, really kind of set the stage. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm excited about it, too. Because showing that they both could release with this King Ghidorah who, you know, it's obviously a badass in him, himself. Um, it's, it's pretty impressive uh, because Kong, he didn't come. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it could be because he couldn't get off the island. Uh, who knows? <laughs> but, I mean, there were a bunch of fan theories sw swimming around on that, but I think he just didn't come because he was strong enough to resist the call. Um, everyone else did. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, King Dora, we're your little bitches. And got to feel like, nope. How about I take you all out? So, so let me ask you this: We're at the end of uh, the last Godzilla movie, you know, the other monsters—they kind of—I ain't gonna say kneel, but they did kind of yeah. you know, give them respect. Do you think Kong is gonna do the same thing? I, I think Godzilla will make him do the same thing. You think he'll make him? Make him. All right. So Kong's gonna fight just like Godzilla did and gonna take over that role. I mean, when they well, on the original, they he, he beats Godzilla. Yeah, but he does. Mm -hmm. That he does. The old lightning. Mm -hmm. I just yes. don't see how they have built up Kong to where it could beat the current Godzilla. Yeah, I don't think so. Either, man. No, I, 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 thought, I thought it was bull when I saw it when I was a kid. Like, yeah. I'm like really? Come on. Mm -hmm. I how is Kong gonna attack that atomic breath? They literally mm. burn all the fire off of man. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a bald monkey. <laughs> uh, he roasted him. He roasted him. <laughs> but my number two movie, and the only reason I'm going number two is after I saw those rated R, I got so hyped about it, and it is Birds of Prey. Oh, okay. That's uh, I like it. Uh, I was, I had no absolute hype or no desire to see that movie at all, and because I was like, oh, it's going to be another PG-13, Crawfest, We Are Woman, Hear Us Cry movie. And then they're like, we're making it rated R. And I'm like, okay, this can be a true Birds of Prey movie. It can show them straight up killing people. It can show Harley Quinn straight up being insane. It can show everyone straight up being their actual role. Because Birds of Prey, they don't, they're good guys, but... They kill people. They aren't your average, like, they aren't a Batman, they aren't a Superman, they, they kill people. I got a famous version of Suicide Squad, basically. Yeah, but uh, a lot better than the Suicide Squad movie that we got. Uh, that movie. Uh, we won't talk about that movie. 
I like that book. I like that book. It's, 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 it's good. It was good. It's, it's entertaining. It's not good. I didn't like Jared Leto in it. Speaking of, we're going to get the Joker in this one, you think? No, no, I think. No, no, no. no, no. It looks like no, no, at all. No, no, no. It, it looks like it's Harley Quinn dealing with the breakup of being with the Joker, I think, which they covered in one of the animated movies. I think it's a Salt on Arkham, maybe? I don't know. Are we going to party on Jared Leto? You think he's going to do No, that? he's gone. 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 They've done enough. They're, they're trying to totally separate themselves from... I don't think it, I don't think his performance was that bad. I, don't I mean, for what they were doing, doing, like a modern day like gangster Joker, I don't think it was that bad. I mean, I, compared to some of the Jokers that we've gotten, was it great? No. But was it bad? No. It was good. It was fine. It was what they wanted it to be. But, like I was saying... Let's start some conspiracy. Let's go ahead and get, get the guys riled up over here. What would you, what would you say, Jared Leto, the current Joker? With Joaquin Phoenix? Uh, Joaquin... Oh, go ahead, yeah. I, Joaquin Phoenix plays a better role, but he doesn't really play the Joker. He plays... <laughs> a, a, great, a clown. A clown. <laughs> a killer clown. <laughs> okay. Well, I get it. I'm okay. Like, okay. Jared Leto at least plays, you know, a Joker with a backstory. And what I think this movie's going to be is, like I said, it looks like it's Harley going with the breakup with the Joker. And, like I said, it looks, you know, we get them going wild. It's Harley, it's Harley Quinn driven, too. You know, she's doing a, a voiceover throughout the movie. So, you know, basically it's her show. She's running it. You just got Birds of Prey featured in it. Black Mask, which uh, uh, I what? think is a, it's a great villain to put mm-hmm. in. So, I think I think I agree with you. I I, I can't wait to see it. I I, like I said, I was not hopped at all until I saw the Dark mm-hmm. because that means they can have liberty to show like Black Canary screaming and someone's head bursting, which I really want to see. <laughs> yeah, it's happened in the comics. Okay, okay. I mean, there's so much. Red Dark, think, yeah, Red Dark does always does some good stuff. That's why I'm not about it, and that would be my number two pick. And I really was not expecting it to be until I saw the, you know, rating. So with that, okay, next you want to go? I, I, I'm next. I'm going to continue on this uh, comic book trend. I guess my number one is going to be Wonder Woman too. Okay. Uh, okay. What, 1980, 1980, something. Like 84. 84. 84. 84. 84. 84. 84. 84. 84. 84. Got to be specific. Uh, me and you was a part of 84, but he, the young man, wasn't born yet. Dr. Page wasn't. Well, what, what, born in 84. No. Okay. Even though it's kind of weird because you did originally set up to her that she, you know, stopped fighting for mankind and went in hiding basically for a hundred years, but here we go with 84. But maybe we're getting rid of that whole beginning of her origin story for the beginning of the DCU. But um, I, I, I'm uh, looking forward to it. D- DC is kind of coming along pretty good now mm-hmm. with the films. I have to give them credit for that. And especially with the TV shows. Have you seen what they did with Crisis? Yeah. Have you seen that? That flash and flash thing? Yeah. Hey, hey, keep it going, DC. Even though you're light years behind Marvel, they're doing a great job slow rolling, establishing characters, bringing things in slowly, slowly. Fine, got another Batman coming, but that's... Yeah. 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 Yeah, but yeah, what, yeah, I'm saying, I'm like. what I'm saying is while Marvel is sitting here stumbling, trying to find this guy on with all these big characters now missing, DC is now making up that ground. Right, right, right. You think we're ever catch them? Yeah, they do it right. I thought I, they I, did. I, I, but before that, comic book fatigue's going to sit in and we're about another comic book here or movie. Well, I don't know. Then, I don't know. Look what Joker's about to do. That, that, yeah. Joker's probably going to win. They probably won't win Best Actor, but they're going to get a few awards. They got the Globes, didn't they? Got them Globes. He's going to lose. Yeah. Them. Yeah. He got lost you you can set those stories and make them reality based and be like, okay, we don't have to have the huge fight, the CGI fight. We can tell a story about a character and boom. You know? And, and just work and develop the character and make it work. To and me, man, they're great. Like you go back and watch. The, to me, go back and watch Justice League. Tell me, can you really not just enjoy that movie? I did. It, it's not. It's not as. I mean, to me, I can put the Justice League, like, like you can't put it up there with the first Avengers, but it gave you like to me, it gave me that same feel. Right. Uh, you know, better than Endgame. And then, uh, oh hell, boy, yeah, way better than Endgame. So now that they can take a step back and develop these characters, I think they're gonna really get a lot out of it. Okay. I'm thinking like, dude, Batman. I hate that, that, that we're kind of losing them. We, that's my biggest fear. Is like when you lose Batman and Superman, you losing something. You can't yeah. just replace these characters. Yeah. That's what kills you. You got to keep that same core of people. 
But the stories, I think, will get better. Oh, yeah. yeah me and you both, we'll talk about Batman stuff. Oh, yeah. me and you. That's, the, our, that's the, our deal. The guilt. The guilt. The guilt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the bell now with Netflix and Apple, like you said, he wanted out, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I heard the story he had was going to be phenomenal if he was able to write and direct it. Him going basically through Arkham. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that was going to be killer. Uh, number two. Man, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm, I'm gonna kind of break the trend we had so far. Even though guys said it's not a comic book, it kind of is. Kind of is, right? Well, I mean, it started way back in like the '50s in Japan with people in little rebel suits going around. Gotcha, and gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Fast and Furious, right? I really want to see where they go from here. How in the world can you have? Uh, uh, one of the biggest actors in Hollywood right now. And rest in peace to his dad. So the Rock, his, his dad died on yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So rest in peace to Rocky Johnson, uh, uh, his uh, father. But uh, man, I would love to see. How, how do you do that? How did Vin Diesel and Rock have to be have so much beef and so much tension that they live? They cleared it up. They, they cleared have cleared it up. They have cleared it up, but The Rock's not going to be in this movie, though. He's not in this movie. I was they're, kind of like trying to get that Hobbs and Shaw stuff. The Hobbs and Shaw, neither of them are going to be in this movie. They really? said that they're probably going to be in the next one, which, spoiler alert, go figure if you read anything on the internet, there's going to be more. Why not when you're making billions of dollars, keep cashing in those movies. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, no, they, they cleared up their beef. They got over it. They, they hugged and made up. Tyrese too? Rock and Tyrese too? Yeah. Oh no, Tyrese. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tyrese. Uh, Tyrese is the mouth of the whole thing. Tyrese said, you know, stop taking, you know, food off my child's table or whatever the hell he says because Rock is, you know, drawing in the star with his muscle. Yeah. Uh, when he comes, when he comes to the franchise, you know what it is. It's like, yeah, you know, hey, he's he's going bring he's going bring money to it. He's going to draw tickets, and it, it's just that simple. I'm kind of glad to see it kind of maybe go away from that though. Really? I do like I do like the rock, and I like, but I'm kind of looking. Let's like, get we'll see how far they can go. Yeah, because they went from just you know racing cars to crazy now. They're behind. They're gonna be they're gonna be in space. They're gonna be in space. <laughs> 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 gonna be astronauts. It, it's just amazing how they made that transition. And, and, but it still is it's very entertaining. It's a good movie. It's a great franchise. Not nine deep. Nine deep. Nine. 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 Mm -hmm. That that that's phenomenal. What I can't think of too many other franchises that made nine. Jason maybe Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. You know? And then they get better each time. Maybe. They get they get good. Yeah. Each one of them are very entertaining. I do. I do. Jason made the ten. Jason X man. Yeah, that was the worst. Yeah. You like I'm, Jason? X? Did you like Jason X? As a comedy, hell yeah. Yeah. I like, yeah, like Freddy versus yeah. Jason. That was cool. Hi right, King. Should it's all something. on you. I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off with my number two. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna build up. To my oh, biggest. so I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm gonna yeah. I'm going. I'm going. My number two that I want to see is uh, is Sonic the Hedgehog. All right. I know it's a little bit off. I'm, I hope it's not let me down because I hope it ain't like no Smurfs or Garfield. Or I, I hope that, that it's not that stupid. You know, I mean, don't be wrong. Now they're good kids films, but I don't need a kids film on this one. I need a little bit of a kids film. Give me something. Give me give me something that an older man like me has got to play Sonic the Hedgehog. Give me give me what I need. Gotcha. And uh, Sonic was uh, was actually probably my favorite game besides Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. You know that of course like Tech Mobile, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. Classic, you know, classic. Mobile, but, 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 but I think a lot of fans, everybody waited it. for technology to catch us and be able to get Sonic. And mm -hmm. and uh, Jim Carrey, you know, I hope maybe he can be a little bit of the old Jim Carrey. I think he will. You know, so. it plays into him being a little like, funny character, a little quirky. Yeah, and it, that's right. That is that. But I will say this, and I will not try to, you know, go against your pick, but normally video game movies have not done no, well. Never they have done well they, at all. It, I don't know what they it is. Well I don't know what it is. Mario Brothers, Double Dragon, Street Fighter, uh, it, it's, they, they're all heartbreaking. Even mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat's kind of tough to watch sometimes. The, the so. new one, they are coming out with a new one. Oh, yeah. 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 With that. fatalities. That mm -hmm. cast is ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe, maybe this is the beginning of a new trend. Yeah. Like I said, I was going to go, a lot of mine was going to kind of be like Godzilla. We, got, we all kind of share on a lot of the things we like. So, I'm going to kind of go a little bit against the grain because we need to mention Sonic, and that's something that I grew up watching playing those games. What up? Gaming guys. So, I, I kind of wanted to go that direction. So, I'm going to go now. Um, like, we won't get too much into Sonic because I, you know, I think it's got a pretty good cast. But I'm going to go my number one. This is what I'm most jacked up about. And that is Ghostbusters. 
Uh, man, to me, they better not kill my childhood with this. They better not do it. Some things you gotta keep sacred, man. And and it's me. You better not mess with Ghostbusters. You better not mess with Back to the Future. And if you're gonna do them, you better do them right. There you go. Well, well they've already run Ghostbusters once. Well, that's what I'm saying. Let me tell you something. <laughs> what we just seen a couple years back, that's not Ghostbusters. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry if you disagree. We're all here to, to disagree or whatever. Agree to disagree, but I'm telling you. That's not Ghostbusters, man. That's that's the that's, that's that's liberal Hollywood trying to shovel females down their throat over a Ghostbusters. Let's bring it in. Let's have a little bit of mixture. Let's do what we're supposed to do. Let's get you know. I want to see. I want to see Winston's kids. I want to see you know Spangler. I want to see Egon. I want to bring it all in. Let's bring it. Let's let's get everybody back together. And then I want to have the old characters. Bring their families. Let's, let's find a way to connect it to where we get the old. And I don't want to see the old. There's all these guys popping in. For five or ten minutes, I don't. I don't need to see one of them as a damn taxi driver. I want to see one of them. <laughs> I want to see these guys put the proton packs on, get get, the, get these old faces, and then I want them to kind of pass the torch. Then we can continue for the next. There you go. There you go. Pop question. Well said. Well Pop said. question. If they show up for like the final fight, like all hell's broken loose, and they have to, you know, call in the Ghostbusters for the final fight, the original, the three that are left alive, they have to call them in for the final fight. Would that be okay? Since you said you didn't want like cameos, and you had just you know a quick call in, uh, like uh, what if they even mention it? Like who are you gonna call? And then all of a sudden, to me, call in to, to me, three. to me with Paul. Well, first off, Paul Rudd's gonna add that like kind of the Bill Murray comedy stuff throughout. So maybe maybe at that point they can salvage that movie on that point. But like for no. me, how can you have a movie with Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray? How can you how can you take that comedy and not have it throughout the movie? How can you have that presence? You know, my thing is Stay first on. off, you got you've got to establish the story because obviously we see in the first trailer it's right. it's not gonna be throughout the movie as far as like most of we're thinking. I just don't want the very end little pieces. I'd like to have them at least have some role in it. A little bit more, you know. Gotcha. So that that's what I'm looking forward to. Just what I've seen off the trailer alone just gets me all excited. You get to see Slimer, you get to see, dude, uh, you know, when they come out with Act 1, it, it, dude, they're just blasting the city. And it looks like, I mean, it's like Alabama City or something crazy. You know? Yeah, it um, But I'm excited about that one. That's actually my number one. That's where I want to go with it. So uh, I hope you guys are, uh, are excited, you know, as much as we are. You guys got anything up? There are a about? lot of good movies coming out in 2020. Hmm? Uh, like, I didn't even mention it. Y'all fire away, man. I'm, I'm 100% hot. Two for a quiet place too. A quiet place snuck up on me and was a great mm -hmm. horror film. And I absolutely hate PG thirteen horror movies. And it snuck up on me and was great. That's my mention. And get what was you got, man? You fire away, man. I, I I'm a fan of Jordan Peele. What he's been doing with horror. Candyman remake. They doing it? Yes. Yes. Oh, I, okay. I, now, now is it 2020? I'm not sure. Not sure, but I'm hearing it is probably is around that, that time. Mm -hmm. I would love to see what he does with Candyman. I'll, I'll let you know. I absolutely yeah. hate that everything he's killed. done with horror, and I think it should all be thrown out with feminine Hollywood and burnt and a big pile in the backyard because it's just terrible. Get Out was terrible? Get Out was terrible. Oh, goodness. Get Out. I loved Get Out. Get Out was good, but the other one, uh, Us. Us was kind of eh. But get out was great. I kinda like us. You like us? It's dark, man. It was dark. Yeah, it's dark, but it kind of, you know, just a bunch of, you know. Burn them all. You know. Burn them all. So a bunch of duplicates and you know, liberal living Hollywood. in the subway and Oh my god, it was you know. just creepy. I'll tell you what I'm kinda looking forward to and uh which will mean it's kinda come out the night. No, I mean uh Candyman remake. Uh, I That's I great. actually watched great horror movie. There's a Saw remake. Uh, like, Let's not redo really Saw, man. Saw's starting masterpiece. Let's keep it. Starting at the first Saw remaking, not yeah, the, that not which big Saw with, that we got with, with Chris Rock, basically behind the yeah. You heard you said somebody made that shit. Up. I'm, I'm dead. Please kill me. Yeah, okay, I'm, okay. Dead I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. Please speaking, kill me. Go ahead, King. Speaking about some comedy, I'm going to throw out my my own that, that I that, that I'm kind of excited about. Like I said we're starting up soon tonight. It's supposed to be like the premiere. Um, I'm excited about Bad Boys. Bad Boys 3, man. You got Martin Lawrence? I'm not going to see that. He's a little 
Hello, wait on now. Hello, wait on. Hello, wait on. Will Smith hasn't changed. No, no, he's not. But, he's never. Let me tell you something though. To me, you watch those two movies. The previous ones, they're gold. Yeah. They're fun, man. They're such a great movie. This should be it, though. Yeah. This I think so. Yeah. Right, right. Get your trilogy right on out. Yeah. And leave it on. I think it will. Leave it on. I, I think they might do it right. They should. They should. I tell you what, but that's that's right there. That's, that's my pick. Bad Boys. Um, we all come up with some different stuff. Um, man, I hope you enjoy you know the video. I hope maybe hey, if you, please give us your your comments on the movie that you think are gonna be the best ones of 2020. And uh, thank you guys so much for checking us out. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. We are out. Peace.